Hey guys, T-Rex back again, and today we're playing more Jurassic World Primal Ops. Loving this game, it's real fun, and yeah, let's get into it. So, we've got a lot of crates to open, there's a dinosaur event happening currently, the Baryonyx family event, but we really know who the star of the show is. If you look at the icon, well, in the picture at the top left, it's obvious who it is. Let's go see if we can check it here. It's obvious. This isn't about Baryonyx. This is about Spinosaurus, and I know a lot of guys, probably a lot of you in the comments, like Spinosaurus. I know a lot of people love Spinosaurus. Personally, I still prefer T-Rex, just because I'm more of a Jurassic Park 1 and 2 guy. But, I mean, he is pretty cool. He does mad- he, well, he does a madness in Jurassic Park 3. And we're gonna open some crates for him. But first of all, we need to complete some missions to get some crate keys, of course. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to use my DNA currency. I've been playing the event all day, the T-Rex boss event. So, um, I've been trying to do all the missions as soon as I get the stamina to do it, but we're gonna have to buy some more energy stamina, whatever they call it, and play some of these missions. So, guys, first of all, actually, before I start even the gameplay, do we have the right team? No, okay, we don't have the right team. I'm gonna choose this. I don't like Eupocephalus. I don't like Ankylosaurids in this game. They're too slow, they stay too close to you, and they just... Like, if I could choose Stegosaurus over Ankylosaurus, or what, what is it? It's Eupocephalus. I would, I will choose it, of course. But anyway, yeah, before I start, guys, check the link in the description. We've got a Discord now, me, Pro C, which I'm pretty sure is Pro Ceratosaurus, but sure. He's another YouTuber. He played this game once on YouTube so far. He's going to keep playing it. We started a community on Discord. It's been gonna be like the number one place for Jurassic World Primalops news, gameplay, chatting with friends and all that, getting to know the game. Hopefully they bring some clans or tribes or whatever into the game, some guilds maybe, and we can all join up and hopefully continue through this game together even better and even more easily. I guess, I don't know, hopefully they do something like that in the game. But yeah, join the Discord, make sure you like the video and subscribe while you're down there, and yeah, let's get started. So. I've been playing this event quite a lot. It it only lasted like two, three days, which is actually pretty short for an event in this game. They usually last like a week, like the T-Rex one is a week. The brand new dinosaur ones, like the rare dinosaurs you can only get during events, they're like six, five, six days. I'm not entirely sure. I think they changed as well. They used to be longer, then they changed to shorter. But yeah, as I was saying, this event, um, pretty short but you can get a lot of DNA from it sadly my missions aren't tracking and I checked with a couple other people and their missions aren't tracking it depends on whether you've already played the mission or completed the mission before so obviously the Spinosaurus mission event family event or whatever Baryonyx family event happened a couple of weeks ago probably like a month or two ago now maybe I'm not entirely sure and when it repeats if you've completed the missions already in the first one for some reason the tracking mess messes up so you don't end up getting one out of or well, five out of five. Every time you like restart the game it resets to zero out of five, which is really annoying, especially when this game proper gets laggy if you leave it open for too long in the background. So you kinda have to close it before you can play more missions. Which is really annoying. It means the progress is literally reset and it's kind of frustrating. And it's happened a lot now recently to me for a lot of these events. The last one, it happened for all the missions except for one because I guess I didn't complete that the first time I played it and yeah hopefully they get these like little bugs fixed there's a lot of them still and that's probably why the game never released with the movie I reckon the game was supposed to release with the movie it makes sense but there's still no news on a release date they said coming soon I know they've recently released this in Canada like a couple like a week ago or so which is actually where the game's made by this company called behavior in Canada some game developer pretty cool um, but yeah, so I'm assuming they're hoping to get this game released soon. I mean, I mean, there's a brand new event, the T-Rex boss event. Pretty cool, pretty interesting. They've got reoccurring events every week now. They've got events for dinosaurs, events for DNA, events for, like, these tournaments. I guess they're not even events anymore, they're tournaments, which is cool. So yeah, um, there's a lot in the game. There's some balancing still, I think, because currently where I am in the game, it's either balancing or it's supposed to be that grindy, and if it's supposed to be that grindy, it's kind of annoying. I wish there were skip missions for the um, epic missions or elite missions or whatever they're called. The purple missions, the third difficulty uh, missions. I wish there was a skip button for those, 
There is for the Pachycephalosaurus mission, but that is technically in the hard difficulty, which means... Uh, not hard difficulty, medium difficulty, which means they've all got skips, which is fine, and that's why I'm trying to currently level up my Pachycephalosaurus, just because it's easier, and because they gave us 53 DNA, which means I'm halfway to getting it to rank... Um, I think it's rank 4, which is mad. I think that's the highest rank where it unlocks its final abilities, which is pretty interesting. It'd be good to get an elite dinosaur finally at that rank, where you've got all the abilities unlocked, and it's pretty much as good as it can be, apart from obviously leveling up its damage and all that. Which I assume by that point, we might as well be leveling up legendaries, because there's no point ranking it up too much higher, because by the time you get a legendary unlocked, then it will be better in overall in like 2 or 3 ranks. And then obviously the end game is made for the uh, legendaries. That's why they're probably locking them off at the moment. They don't want people to get to the, or getting to the end game before the game's released, which is fair enough. Here's enough uh, Ifio Venator. I think that's how it's called. So yeah, the game is pretty good. Hopefully it's out soon. Hopefully they get the bugs fixed. I've been messaging them. They told me one of the issues was me only, but I know a lot of people have got it, which is kind of annoying. Let's play this. Oh no, we don't have stamina for this. What do we have stamina for? Okay, let's just do the T-Rex event. So yeah, as you see, Pro C is top currently. Congrats to him. I mean, he's been playing it a lot. He's been also buying the extra stamina, which would be nice if I could do that to be honest, because in the UK, you can't buy it yet. I don't know where he's from, but he's probably from one of the countries you can play it. And also, who's next? The number second, Oathmill, and then Ap Apophenia. I think that may, I don't know. And then Pokepal, and then some other guys. Also, this guy in the comments, he wanted me to shout him out. He said he's got a video, yeah, what, a YouTube video? I think it's called Mr. Jurassic. He said he uploaded his first video, which, I mean, I haven't seen it yet, because when I checked his channel, he didn't actually have it yet. But if he has it on his channel now, I'm going to definitely check it out and see how he does. Hopefully he's enjoying this game. Let's go check where he is. He said it was about 50th. But well, that was a couple of days ago, so maybe he's not there at the moment. Let's have a look. Mr. Jurassic, are you around here? Um, I can't find him. I think he had like 20,000. So, oh, okay, maybe he's in the league above. Okay, sorry about this, guys. I know I'm just scrolling through <laughs> leagues at the moment. But it will be worth it, trust me, guys. If he has some like good YouTube videos, it's worth the content. Okay, so, um, where is he? Okay, I can't find him. Okay, well... As I said, guys, Mr. Jurassic, he probably comments in this video, hopefully he comments in this video, and says, oh, I'm here, or whatever. And yeah, as I, yeah, as you guys know, Stegosaurus, Baryonyx, and Pachycephalosaurus for this mission will quickly get through it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, and then we're going to end the video there with a bunch of crate openings. Probably should have just opened the crates, to be honest, because there's a lot of crates. I think I have over 200 and something crate keys. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, I'm going to use my gun, because honestly, I'm third, and it really doesn't matter anymore. I'm probably not going to get much higher because the two above me definitely have been buying the stamina, which is fine. That's how the game works. And honestly, um, probably the more tournaments that happen, the harder it's going to be to get to the top. So eventually I'm probably going to have to buy them when possible, but we'll see about that. We'll see. We don't want to have to buy stuff in the game. We want to be as free to play as possible. We're not a WoW here. I don't earn that much money. <laughs> but yeah, if possible, I'll try to be first at least one time. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully someone doesn't grind too hard and lets me try to be first. Anyway, let's keep going. We're going to do this as quick as possible. I don't mind about getting to the um, the highest amount of points because who cares really? It's not that important. I can't go really any higher. But I want to keep my third place at least. That'd be cool. Be it would be cool to be first third at least once, right guys? <laughs> we'll see. I wonder if they're going to do these every week. I feel like every week is going to be very grindy because currently trying to do this every time I have the time to do this is quite long and it takes up a while as well because the mission is about three minutes long, four minutes long, which is definitely one of the longer missions in the game. And you don't want a mission lasting that long. I mean, obviously it's a T-Rex boss event. He's going to have a lot of health and all that, but we're going to be shooting him. We're definitely not going to be getting that much, uh, what you call it, points. We're already at, what, 27,000 when we should be about 30,000, so we're already 3,000 something less than we usually would be. Oh, it's all good. Guys, guys, let me know. Are you currently playing this event? Are you currently doing the tournament? Let me know where you are in the tournament. It'd be cool to see in the comments if you guys can let me know whereabouts you are in the tournament ladder, what league and all that. It'd be cool to see. Also, are you enjoying this game? Of course. 
loving this game, but hopefully it comes out soon so everybody in the world can enjoy it. Obviously, that'll be cool, that'll be cool. Let's not die, we're losing a lot of health. We're not playing this very smart. Just want to do it quick, guys. Just want to do it quick. I don't want it taking like four minutes like it usually does, even longer. I don't even know, guys. Anyway, let's get this health pack while we're here. We don't want to die because we've definitely been playing this bad. Okay, there you go. We're going to be on the final bit now. We've got 71,000. We usually have about 80,000 now, so we're definitely not doing it as good as we would be if we did my method from the last video, guys. So if you want the best method, it's in the last video, guys. Check that out. How is It's titled, like, how to defeat the, or whatever, T-Rex event or something. It shows me second in the leaderboard. I was first at one point, but it's been a while. <laughs> It was pretty much the first day it came out, I was first, and then everybody started grinding as well, which is fair enough. We're all trying to beat this tournament, have some fun, and get those legendary crates. Hopefully there's some good DNA in those legendary crates, because I really want to unlock some legendaries very soon. Anyway, yes, we've completed it. Now we're going to go open a lot of crates. We're going to skip through most of them. The animation's cool and all, but it is pretty long, and I don't want you guys watching all the... <laughs> well, I don't want to be watching it, first of all, and I'm sure you guys don't want to watch it. Also, I don't actually know how much um, points I got there, but it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Let's go to the store. Where are we? Shop. And let's open. So we've got enough for about... Um... Why is it not opening? What's happening? <laughs> okay, have I done something? Okay. Okay, let me restart this app. Okay, so we're back. We're going to check if we can buy these now. Come on. There we go. Okay, so there must have been a... Well, another bug, of course, guys. Anyways, open it. We'll watch the first one, see what we'll get. Hopefully get some Spinosaurus DNA, or at least that. I think it's Baryonyx. Yeah, there you go. There we go. So we did get some Baryonyx DNA. We're trying to get it to rank 3. We're trying to get all the Elite Dinosaurs to rank 3, because that's all I can really do at the moment. Some more Baryonyx is very nice. We want that Spinosaurus, though. We need that Legendary. Oh, there you go. 2 DNA. Not bad at all. We'll check how much uh, Spinosaurus DNA we have at the end of this as well, quickly. And that's where we're going to end it off. Oh, we're getting a lot of Baryonyx as well. Hopefully we get more of that. We just, we, the sooner we can rank that up, the better, to be honest. It would definitely help with the story, because currently we're kind of stuck. I did manage to complete some more missions in the final Elite, I think it's Elite, or... Yeah, Elite, or Epic missions difficulty. Finally got to complete a couple of the missions, but we're not got very far, and it's actually really hard. It's very, like... I have to like run around and let the dinosaurs do the work, especially Pachycephalosaurus. That seems to be the only dinosaur capable of doing damage in that difficulty that I have currently. Not even Stegosaurus, just because Stegosaurus isn't good against that enemy type. And um, oh damn, five or well, three um, epic DNA and two gold. Very nice. Okay, so we opened all that. We've got a lot of stuff. Very nice. So we're currently 56 out of 80 for Baryon. It's very nice. Not too much longer to get that unlocked and. Well, Spinosaurus 21, not too bad. Still closer with Stiggy Moloch, Tyrannosaurus, and Ankylosaurus, but that's not bad at all, guys. Make sure you like this video if you like this video, guys. Make sure you comment and subscribe. I'm going to end it here, so see you next time.